Hey you guys, welcome back to another devotional video. So in this video, guys, we're going to be talking about belief and blessings, page 16, 17, 18, and 19. Um, and also we'll leave today's prayer below and you guys may get um, a food video from me later today, but that'll probably be separate. Um, but back to the devotional, guys, I pray peace and blessings over each and every one of you. Let's talk about belief first. He must have a strong belief in the trustworthy message he was taught, then he will be able to encourage others with wholesome teaching and show those who oppose it where they are wrong. And that's Titus 1.9. 1 Timothy 4.6 says, If you instruct the brethren in these things, you will be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished in the words of faith and of the good doctrine which you have carefully followed. Mark 9:23 All things are possible to him who believes. John 20:29 20, says, "Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed." And again, I encourage you guys, you guys can read these in full context or you can check out our um Bible study videos when we did them. But the scriptures again for belief is going to be Titus 1:9, 1, 1 Timothy 4:6, Mark 9:23. In John 20, 29, I'm going to leave it here for a second for you that maybe want to screenshot or take some notes. And then we're going to go to the prayer and the prompting question. Okay, so here's the prayer, guys. It says, Jesus, I believe that you are the son of God. You came to earth as a human so that we could know what the father is really like. Above all, you taught us what it means to love without condition. I believe who you were, you still are, and I can trust you with my life. Thank you for the gift of knowing you. I pray that my belief would lead me into greater confidence in my relationship with you. Thank you that you are near and not distant. Whatever happens in the world around me, I believe that you remain constant. In Jesus' mighty name, amen to that prayer, you guys. And the question says, how can you strengthen your belief in God? So now we're going to go to um, the next page, you guys. We're talking about blessings. It says, surely, Lord, you bless those who do what is right. Like a shield, your loving care keeps them safe. That's Psalms 512. And guys, it's raining, so you guys may hear that in the background. Also the AC. Psalms 21 verse 6 says, surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. Ephesians 1 3 through 4 says, Give praise to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. Those blessings come from the heavenly world. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. They belong to us because we belong to Christ. God chose us to belong to Christ before the world was created. He chose us to be holy and without blame in his eyes. He loved us. And that is Ephesians 1 3 through 4. And again, the scriptures are Psalms 512. Psalms 21, verse 6, and Ephesians 1, 3 through 4. Here's the prayer, you guys. It says, Lord, when I take time to recognize what I have to be thankful for, I realize that your goodness is all around me. When I am feeling overwhelmed, I can practice counting my blessings. The biggest blessing I have is your presence. May the joy of your presence awaken me to life and to your goodness in and around me. I know that you are the giver of all good gifts. Today, I will be on the lookout for them, knowing that nothing is too big or too small for you. In Jesus' name, amen to that prayer. And the uh, question says, which of God's blessings come to your mind today? So you guys be blessed. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a blessed day.